I'm Shelley Wolf, the new executive director here for KMB TV Television, and I am sitting here with a great group of award winners and producers of television shows that air on our channel. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit with them, but first I'd like to talk about how those awards came about. So those awards came about because there is an organization called the Alliance for Community Media, which represents six uh, local, or I should say regional, access stations throughout the country or in this area, and those towns are, or those states I should say, are Hawaii, Colorado, Nevada, California, Arizona, and Hawaii. And tonight we are going to be talking to the local producers here at KMV TV to talk about how the submission process worked to enter for uh, the awards, which is called the WAVE Award, which stands for Western Access uh, Video Excellence Award. And so we're going to start with Jenny Lynn, who I have here on my end here. How are you tonight, Jenny? I'm doing great, thank you. Fantastic. So you, <coughs> this is your first time entering a show. You've been doing a show for about a year and a half now. No, one year. Oh, I'm sorry, one year. Yeah. And you have just decided to submit your show. What made you submit your show out there? Some, uh, Mel actually told me that he thought I should, sub I should enter um, the contest when it came around because my shows were okay enough to do it. So I took his advice and when the notice was sent out to us producers, mm -hmm. I decided to submit that show. And actually I've only been doing shows for eight months. Wow. And so I entered my very first show and was actually in shock when I found out I was nominated. <laughs> I still can't believe it, but you know, I've got this to show for it. There you go. <laughs> and, and you know, we need to also acknowledge the fact that there was 5,000 <laughs> entries this year. So it was one of the largest wave award um, submissions that ever uh -huh. existed. So I think we had at least six from our station and uh, I'm here with the four of you that uh, actually won. So, and I'm here with Jim Wu as well. Two. Uh, Jim <laughs> two? <laughs> two. <laughs> 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 it's okay. Don't worry. Get it all the time. At least you didn't pronounce it Twu. Well, and you have a wild show. It's called What the Bleep. So we'll right. just say that. <laughs> so you, you, mean you can't add it in live? Well, never mind. The audio guy probably doesn't want to do that. <laughs> so, and then I'm also here with Mel Van Dusen today. Right, yeah. How are you? Good. And I'm also here with Andrew. So, <laughs> represented by the Pataki plant. Yes, Andrew unfortunately got wrapped up with the local copy machine, so uh, yeah. we uh, decided to substitute him out tonight. But anyways, I want to go back to Jenny Lynn, and we're going to show a video clip here, real quick, that just talks about with you before you went into the awards, and then we're kind of going to go through and talk about what the awards were like for you. Okay. All right. I'll take Thank a look you. at the clip. Jenny, you're a finalist for your first show. How do you feel about it? I can't believe it. I'm chaffed. Whether I win or not, I think I'm a winner. But most of all, I really admire everyone who's been nominated. I think everyone is a winner once you've done a show, whether you're nominated or not. So I like to share the glory and share the love. So whatever happens, we'll find out later tonight. I'm happy. What was your show about? Do I call them rock and roll nuns because they like playing guitar, singing and dancing and um, they just worship God in music and dance, which I believe in. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mel. Thank, thank you. Great. So now you mentioned that you had them on the show because they kind of represent what you stand for and what it's all about. What was it like having picking them and what made you, how did you find them, I guess, to be on your show? I have known them for a while. I've taken a lot of classes at the church with them. And I always start everything off in my life with God. And I embrace whatever that God means for everybody. Right. But for me, it's the light and the goodness in the world. And um, I thought I'd prefer to have the two of them instead of asking a priest, because they've got more rhythm and rhyme, and they like to dance. And so um, I thought that if they were, were willing, it was a blessing for me to start off my shows with so that's why I selected them and that's how I ended up with them. Great. Well at the end of the segment today we will end up taking a look at that piece of the show and so we'll be right back with you. Thank you. Now we're going to come to Jim too. I apologize for that name oh, mistake don't, there. Don't worry, I've been called worse. <laughs> so tell me Just a little today. bit about your show. <laughs> I don't know much about it and I know the. I'm sure the fans out there would love to know a little bit more what about how the show won and how you got involved with the show. Well let's see it's uh, what the bleep I guess is you know for the lack of since we can't have the bleeper here, I'll just call it what the bleep. <laughs> um, it's a uh, panel discussion show about kind of weird and wacky news and, and news that's happening or just, and we just, uh, the panelists and I, we just go over some stories that I find, it, that I've gathered throughout the month that I find interesting is a like, pick four that you want to talk about. And we go and we just have fun with it. Fantastic. And then we just have little wacky, wild, 
crazy fun, I guess. Now, how many categories did you enter your show into? I just entered one. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, uh, I was kind of debating whether or not to enter it, and I think I was talking to, like, like Loretta Beavers, who produces Andrew Will Young's show, and she had some suggestions. And then I looked through the category descriptions, and I picked magazine because, like, I think a lot of the other categories said minimal post-production. I didn't know what that meant. Because right. I do, because <laughs> my favorite phrase here when I produce my show is we can fix it in post. We can fix anything in post. But, <laughs> so I do a lot of, I do some post. And then so I submitted magazine because it had multiple subjects. And I figured, well, my show has multiple subjects and multiple segments. And, <laughs> And uh, I remember having the debate discussion with Mike Harris, who produces uh, Silicon Valley Entrepreneur, and it's like whether or not I should. And he's like, "Well, you know, uh, your show's different, <laughs> so you might as well. <laughs> it'll it'll stand out." It's like whether or not you win or lose, they'll remember it. It's like, okay, fantastic, yeah, worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Well, now we're actually going to take a clip of you at the awards before we know that you actually were a winner. We were a finalist as you were going in, and so we were all gathered together, and Mel was actually videotaping for everybody, which was fantastic, and so we're going to take a quick look at that clip for you. You got my good side, right, Mel? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tell us how you feel right now. Well, I, I really don't, I'm really kind of confused, you know, it's my first time ever, you know, participating or submitting, and I only submitted one, and it was it. I really don't know what to expect, so uh, I'm bracing myself, because I, I have a suspicion that one of the other two guys is going to win, because my show's a little bit goofy for the for my category, which is magazine. What is the name of it? It's What the Bleep, and... Uh, this is your first year doing so. Uh, yeah, a year and a half, but, uh, but you know, I enjoy doing the show. And so, you know, every, everything else is great. So I'll be more than happy to applaud for Outlook Video when they win, and, or anybody else who they win, and I'm just gonna have some fun with it. You know, just okay. enjoy we'll see you in just a couple hours. Best you too. Best luck you too, Mel. It looks like you were having a good time out there, which was fun. Yeah, and I was sober too, which is. <laughs> yeah, and you were at the Psycho Donuts. I mean, come I on, how could you? How could that be? <laughs> and, I, and I abstained from the Psycho Donuts. You know, this is kind of weird. Yeah, it was a pretty incredible place. I never saw a place you walk in and actually saw like fluorescent green, wow. you know. Yeah. Uh, Donuts, donuts there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, well, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, a little bit later, we'll also be seeing a small clip of you with your show and you winning up there. So, so the first time it's not dur on during the Safe Harbor Hour. <laughs> <laughs> we cut all that part out for you. <laughs> What's left? <laughs> oh, just you'll see it in there. And now I'm here with Mel. Yes. And Mel has been producing his show for five and a half years. Yes. And can you pronounce the show for me? Present. Present. Actually, it has a triple meaning. Uh, Present as in present, present as in I present, and present as in the here and now. Okay, fantastic. I thought that was neat. And this show that actually won was called Fakir? Yeah, it's a man's name. His name is Fakir Musafar, and Fakir is the father of the modern primitive movement. Okay. And I was inspired to, actually Andrew here, <laughs> represented by this <laughs> plant, um, he kind of inspired me because he consistently wins every year and his shows are kind of on the edge and mine are kind of cutting edge but not exactly on the edge. And so I thought, you know, in order to really win this thing, I have to do something really over the edge. <laughs> and so I remember seeing a picture of a man who was, I think, sitting cross-legged, pierced with um, metal rods. And I thought, I think a show about this guy could win. And then I researched him and I found out that he... Um, from a, a young age was interested in the rituals which uh, propelled people to a spiritual state of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And so for me, the possibility of having him on the show went from something kind of um, tacky to something spiritual and kind of uplifting. And then I met him and uh, he was not at all like I thought he would be. He was a very, very warm, nice man and we Im immediately made a a connection. And then during the show I found out that uh, uh, people who do these rituals often have essentially a near-death experience in which they communicate with the divine and he yeah. exemplified all the traits that you'd expect of someone with a near-death experience. Uh, wow. Yeah. And was he, uh, did he explain like is there pain and stuff when he's putting these pins through his body? Oh there's agonizing pain yeah. and, and he uh, made piercings in his chest and he had ropes coming up from them, hooks put in, and he had himself suspended from a tree. That's the Oki Pa, or the Sundance uh, ceremony. And he was uh, actually a, uh, a consultant to the movie A Man Called Horse. 
in which the main character had himself suspended. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, I submitted that show in four categories, thinking that I'd, at least one would be a finalist, maybe. And what happened was that all four of them became finalists in all four categories, and I won in the, um, what is it? You have it upside down. Inspirational. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. So, and, and what does it feel like to win for you after all this time? Well, I was beginning to feel like Susan Lucci. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Poor I've Susan. been a uh, finalist two times in the past two years and nothing. And then uh, in the ceremony, uh, you know, four nominations, the first two I got nothing. And I thought, well... You know, so I kind of felt nothing. And then when I won in the third, I was very happy because this is the category that I would like to have won in. So I'm very happy with this one award. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, and as we mentioned, uh, there is also a sh show that we have that's called What's Up With It? Or what's up, what's with, up that? with that? I'm yes. sorry. Yes. And many of you guys have worked on it with Andrew and Loretta. Right. And unfortunately, neither of them could be here tonight. So as we mentioned, we, you know, we've dedicated this plant here to Andrew tonight exactly. uh, <laughs> to be here <laughs> and represent him. But he's been doing his show, what I understand, for about 15 years now. And, mm -hmm. uh, and does anybody want to tell us a little bit more about his show and what it's oh. all about? Well, he won for um, autism, a show called Autism in the Schools. And he's, I think, a principal at some kind of school. Or yeah. Teacher? Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, you know, when you see him uh, perform on TV, you think, this man cannot be a principal in a school. Yeah. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. But yet, I watched his show, Autism in the Classroom, and he was his normal exuberant, over the top self. But then when he started talking about kids, his personality changed, and, and he became uh, compassionate and caring, kind of like a father. It was interesting to see that change come over him. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's always interesting a little bit, you know, how each individual is outside the world and they come on television and what that may be. Uh -huh. So speaking of being on television, we skipped over your interview part of what it was like for you to be at the WAVE Awards. Well, so let's I show would it. like to go back okay. and see that. All right. <laughs> You're nominated for an award tonight, right? You're actually my competitor. I'm sorry? <laughs> You're actually my competitor. <laughs> I How do you feel about this? Well, I entered one show in four different categories, thinking that at least uh, in one category I'd be a finalist. And as it turns out, I was a finalist in all four for the same show. And then I find out, found out that I'm uh, a finalist with you in entertainment talk show. And I uh, simultaneously think... That is a great honor. And two, it's a source of yeah. some um, irritation that, <laughs> that we're friends and yet we're competing in the same category. But uh, what this shows is that uh, we're good friends and we're both at the top. So I'm really happy with that. Well, that's great, Mel. I think everyone here at the is at the top. I mean, it's great to be sitting with you guys and, and seeing the support that you all give to each other. And I think, you know, one thing that people don't realize is that this is all volunteer time and based on what you guys are doing. You guys are spending your time volunteering, working on each other's shows. Tonight we have a whole volunteer crew base who's sitting here working to help us produce this show. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing what can be accomplished. And I don't think everyone realizes that. And one of the things that we do here at KMBT, and I'm sure each of you could speak to that, is the fact that we actually offer workshops and production training to teach you how to host and produce and work behind the cameras and so if you're interested we encourage you all to come down and get involved and work on some of these shows and as you'll see clips tonight hopefully you'll want to get involved and work on some of these shows and help out the rest of the volunteers that are helping us all the time. So I also want to take a moment, and we had a clip with Andrew. And as I mentioned, Andrew and Loretta couldn't be here tonight, but uh, Andrew is uh, got a show, and you'll get a chance to see what his show is a little bit all about and his extremities out there. And, yeah. and, 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 and so we'll take a look at that video right now. Andrew, you're a finalist in two categories. Can you tell us about the two shows that you've entered? Well, the two shows we entered tonight is kind of typical of sort of what's up with that because we kind of put like everything on the air that we could find that's interesting. So we have two two shows. We have one that's go-go dancing. I have a great story about that one real quickly because I know we're kind of like, and they're not empty here, but it's a go-go dancing. It's a whole different art. It's not stripping, but it's like pretty much close to it. We couldn't put the poles up in the stage because they wouldn't stand up, you know? The little technical problems that happen when you got some go-go dances with some, you know, booty-licious booty. Aha! I'm telling you, that's the truth. Anyways, so, but that's one of them. That's, that, 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 that's in the surprise category, okay? Then the other one's in education. I'm an educator, 
myself, so you know, school principal, it makes it kind of ironic, but it's about autism in the classroom. We got a big problem with autism, we really don't know what's going on, but all of a sudden all these kids are growing up with autism and nobody can handle them, so we decided that we'd you know, represent some people who actually know what they're doing, in case somebody has an autistic child, there's some hope, and there is hope. And there's always hope, that's the whole thing. And to Mel, hey Mel, congratulations to you, brother. You know, it's all about being a little bit different. That's, that, that's the whole thing, staying a little bit on the edge. That's what we gotta do. That's what makes us who we are. So that's why I'm here, that's, that's what's going on, and hopefully we all come home with a trophy. For all of you, and all of us, you know, stick with, I, get, I think the message, no matter what, no matter what, who wins, who loses, whatever, the message is that people are speaking about what, what's important to them, and, and that's, that's the whole point. That's it. Andrew, thank you. All right, thank you. Ciao. Yeah, and I think Andrew had a very poignant statement there. It's like, this is television that you guys and the, the folks that you bring on to your shows, actually you get to get their voices heard where on regular television you want it. So, mm -hmm. what a great opportunity and a great group of people, and I'm sure, I know I had a lot of fun that night at the awards myself, mm -hmm. and just meeting others that are producing video content, and you know, watching what you guys do, and bringing out the directors for some of these shows, and the um, guests that came on some of these shows. So, you know, each day and every day we, um, go through wondering what it's like when we get to the Wave Awards. So we actually have a video clip that you guys did of what it was like being at the awards yeah. and how the process kind of rolls. Yeah. Before we go into it, yeah. don't you think this is a, a, a really an appropriate proxy for Andrew? I do. <laughs> <laughs> like, here I, I mean, am. I mean, you know, this is almost a mouth here. I mean, I mean, we don't need him here. This, this says it all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's Yeah, no, let's I, think the, I think the colors work very well. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's shorter than he normally is on stage, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. But just as colorful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick moment and we're going to watch this video clip that kind of shows what it was like being at the awards that night. So. Welcome to the Western Access Video Excellence Awards! <laughs> the best in community access programming in the western region. Goodness how far west we are. And glad you could be here with us. So I do want to uh, note one thing that when the winners are announced, and so basically we're going to go through nominees and then we'll announce the winner. When the winners are announced, please come down the center aisle here. Uh, you'll receive your award to my left. And then we'd ask that you follow along the aisle at the end there to the back. There are pictures over there. So basically do one little big circle over here, and then we'll just keep on moving. There are a lot of nominees, there are a lot of winners, which is a great thing, but that means it'll take a very long time if we don't keep it going. So we're gonna do our best to keep the program moving along. And so um, right now, I think we have time to get started. What do you think, should we get started? <laughs> The finalists are Menlo College Closes Mass Co uh, Community, Doesn't Tell Students, C oh, MCTV Mass Com TV, Toastmasters Bay to Bay, Episode 28, Styding and Coles, Bridget Starman's Stan Wynn and Danette Lewis, and What's Up With Dad? in the classroom. <laughs> Fan club, Andrew T. Williang and Loretta Beavis. And the winner is, what's up with that? Yeah. Good evening, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Next category is Magazine Community Producer. Right. Cafe Community, June 4th, 2011, Cheryl Noble. Outlook Video number 277, Kim Lawson and Eric Chung. And what the... Yeah! 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 Welcome to What the <laughs> 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 Tonight's show is Scott Burke, and you're recently fumigated KMBT Newsroom.
Scott, what have we got for tonight's show? Yeah. Oh, of course, Jim, as, as usual, you're wrong. If you could see my booming headset mic, I'm actually calling from the what the f helicopter. <laughs> Isn't that any phones? Issue number one is. <laughs> Inspirational religious programming community producer. Finalists, Fakir, Mel Van Dusen, KMVT. <laughs> ah, Ben Club, Ben Club. The Rebuilding Alliance, Jean Ramachodi. Thank you. Islamic Forum of New Mexico, Abdur Ralph Campos Marchetti. And the winner is Fakir. <laughs> There are no um, rituals or rites of passage in the culture with transforming spiritual power. Great stuff. Yeah. Great stuff. Yeah. Very good. Well, one of the things that we also have is a clip of you, Jenny Lynn, and your show. And, uh, you know, everybody here actually became, won the awards, and you were a finalist. So we didn't want to leave any clips of your video out because they didn't oh. show the video clips of the finalists. So Thank you. we do want to show a clip here that uh, shows these rock and roll nuns. Thank and you. so we'll go ahead and take a quick look at that as well. Like Lady Gaga and <laughs> Lady JoJo and Lady Not BB. <laughs> It's really Just funny because I had a Lady Gaga question on my list. I'm like, oh, oh I didn't no. know that. I didn't that. want him oh. to think I'm putting him on the spot. The spirits moving. But listen, <laughs> the spirits moving. You have it on your list. I do. I and here's my question: Are you aware that Lady Gaga used Catholic nun imagery in one of her videos? Uh, yeah, no. she went and to a Catholic school. She went to a Catholic school. We knew that. Just she's yeah. like kind of like the New Day Madonna, because Madonna. I don't know what our Catholic schools are doing, but anyway, they are bringing out the true essence of who we are. But no, I didn't see the video. No, I haven't oh, seen okay. the video. No, huh? Because no. I was wondering if you had seen it. What you know, how it made you feel. But obviously, you, you're a, you're an advocate for. You well, know. just I tell you, she. Like I said, <clears throat> I, I do not know her obviously, but I just know yeah. some of the things she has said. She's empowering, inspiring our young people to be themselves and we all are in that business for each other because we're all one. Well she's definitely a controversial figure because <laughs> yeah. so many people feel the yeah. complete opposite of you guys. So oh. well, I see I'm her really light. happy. I see her light yeah. and as I said she's got the same darkness and gray we all have that okay. we're all working through but in the end she's, she, she's got it going. She's trying her best to get it out there, get her light out there. We all work through ego but she's, she's giving it a great shot. And Rebecca? Take it away. Listen for the love. Listen for the love. Listen for the love all around you. Wow, I sure feel like we should be sitting up here with a bunch of guitars right now. <laughs> well, that was great. I, I am really... A, a, um, commend each of you for the work that you guys continuously do each and every week to put strong shows on the air and volunteer on other folks shows as well and I just wondered is there any last remarks you guys would like to talk about of your experience of going through this you mean the, war the awards? winning the awards producing a show I think that for me it really gives us an opportunity to reach people all over the world and so we have a platform to spread those messages that we think need to get out there and whether we do it in an edgy way or in a serious way, I think everyone producing a show here is making a contribution and hopefully making an impact to change the world in some way. Absolutely. Jim. Or just, or at the very least, have fun. Or <laughs> me and my seven watt viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely saw on, on all the shows that I saw so far, it looks like everyone's having a great time. And I know I'm having a great time with all you guys yeah. tonight. So thank you. Yeah. And when we put our shows on YouTube, and we have that ability here, you know, we can put on a 30-minute show, you know, it's good to get uh, feedback from the people out there about you know, how, what they feel about the show, but it's also important to be recognized for your efforts, to, to be acknowledged for that. And so that's why these awards are so uh, important. It makes me want to go on and, and become even better. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And there's many other award opportunities as well. I mean, you know, I definitely have heard some access producers who've won Emmys and stuff like that. We ran into one of the girls there at the show and was doing some workshops. And so we'll be teaching some folks here as well what it takes to actually get the process rolling to put your show into having, you know, mm -hmm. high quality audio and high quality video content and product yeah, yeah. to distribute. And the tra uh, Bobby is such a good trainer. You know, wh when I came to KMVT, I had you know, doing a TV show was the last thing I thought I would ever do. Sure. It was just inconceivable that I could do that. But the, the classes were so uh, informal and easy and comfortable that um, I didn't feel any judgment that would normally come my way that would prevent me from doing what I could do. And so I felt really empowered to uh, keep on doing it. And I'm really grateful that I got the training that I did. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. And if I could add, I think that for me, my nomination or anything that I win or, or have been nominated for, it's not just me. It's a team effort. And I know that um, I could not do anything without the people who work on all of the shows that I've, um, I've produced. And so for me, this is for all of us. Absolutely. I'm really grateful to all of them. And to Tom Clark, who's an amazing director. Tom Clark directs your show and he directs your show, my show? and Jim's show and, and, and then he directs Jim's my show and, and then he goes drink he goes <laughs> and drinks after my show well, I'm yeah. glad he's directed yeah. tonight's yeah. show as well yeah. 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 so hey let's all thank uh, Tom yeah, Tom's directing right now thank you Tom yeah. thank you so, thank yeah Tom you. yeah put Tom, your this yeah. Is get, get your Tom. graphics on right yeah. Yeah. T Tom will tell you that it's the content that's important but the he gives the content that we make but he gives it shape he decides which which shots to include so right. we um um, owe him something for doing such a good job, yeah, for giving this sh our show's shape. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you know, there's a, I think it's a really good community of people, you know, maybe the, the staff and the volunteers and the producers. I mean, it's just a, it, it's a really nice, good environment to just, you know, just to take a, take a risk, take a shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, what's the worst that could happen when you do a show? I mean, it's like, okay, you did a show, you right. know, but, I mean, and it's, st it's still fun. I think it's a, it's a great environment. Well, we all have our first time. I know um, probably about 15 years ago I produced my very first show, and uh, even tonight I stumbled through a few things. So <laughs> we all have our moments, and uh, it's very fun producing, and it's very fun just getting in front of the camera not knowing what you're going to be doing. So again, <laughs> uh, here at KMVT, we thank every each and every one of you for being involved, and we thank you for what you bring to the table and keeping us an award-winning station. We thank all the finalists and all the award winners out there in the community, and uh, we also want to say a quick thank you to uh, and congratulations to Val Jeffrey who also is in Gilroy and at Mid Peninsula but she got received the Brian Wilson Award this year and that's a great honor to receive uh, it's a, a mentorship award that one receives uh, I actually received it in 2004 and uh, so let's all strive for that next year as well and congratulations to everyone and thank you for everybody working on the show tonight and we'll look forward to seeing you very Can soon. Can I add one thing? Absolutely. And thank you Shelly we're so glad you're on board I know yeah. Brian was great but I know you're gonna do a great job and I can't wait for us to go forward as a team and just do things that have never been done and just make changes and educate people, inspire them and entertain them. So thank you for joining our team. Absolutely. You've made us all feel very comfortable yes. here well, and we, we welcome much. you. Thank you. Well, I feel very welcome and we've got a great team and I look forward to working with every single one here. So okay. thank you.